Here's the finished replica of the Great Florentine. In the original, it weighed 137.27 carats, and its cut is, as I say, described as a double rows of 126 facets, and it has an irregular nine-sided outline. It's a beautiful gem, and when set, it's gorgeous in the canary yellow color. To cut the famous Florentine, the Italian Florentine, required a massive chunk of YAG, YAG aluminum garnet, which is an isometric crystal, man-made crystal, and you can cut it in any directions and still obtain the same optical benefits if you can, uh, regardless of orientation. The Florentine is a nine-sided stone, so I had to make up a special index gear with 54 addresses so that I could divide the 9 into the 54 and come up with every 6th position on the index wheel would cut me one of the sides and then I could drop in the supporting facets. The Florentine, as you'll see, is a rose cut. That is, the top, which features what's called apex facets, is identical to the bottom. It's regardless of switching, as you'll see when I'm done, it looks the same. Now let's get on with cutting the Florentine on a calibrated jam peg. After preforming a stone into nine sides and setting it up for a double-ended cut, I'm now down to polishing the last two supporting what's called girdle facets. Each of the uh, sides on the rose cut comes up to a point and then has what's called triangular shaped supporting facets of what we call girdles and double rows. The uh, Florentine has triple rows. It has a girdle row, a main row, and then a star apex row. What I'm doing right now is polishing the last of the girdle facets. I put the uh, peg into the angle uh, which is 42 degrees. This is already mathematically established so I don't have to worry about it. The length of the peg and the stone are proper and the jam has been set at the proper elevation. So each of the stones as you can see is coming off very neatly. And I used my special one time that I made on my own little metal lathe so I would have a nine fold index here for cutting Italian Florentines. This is a great and famous stone. It was in the Medici family. Finally went uh, through marriage to Austria where it was a crown jewel. It's also known as the Austrian, uh, the Tuscany for the Duke of Tuscany. It was once sold for a single florin by a, a soldier or a layman who uh, found a yellow stone wrapped around the neck of the Duke of Burgundy when he was killed in battle. Its whereabouts now is completely unknown. After World War I, um, stole it and ran off to South America with it. It's never been heard from since, so no one knows where the Florentine is to this day. It was a magnificent stone and one of the great canary yellow stones of history. In the original, it weighed 137.27 carats, and its cut is, as I say, described as a double rows of 126 facets, and it has an irregular nine-sided outline. It's a beautiful gem and when set it's gorgeous in the canary yellow color.